and welcome back to More Approved. I'm James. I'm going to show you how to make a Jack Daniels sauce with a demi-glaze substitute. We're also going to be grilling a ribeye steak and making some grilled zucchini to go along with it. Before we take a preheat the grill, we're going to go ahead and make our Jack Daniels sauce. So that's sitting at the ready for after our steaks are cooked. For the Jack Daniels sauce, I've gone ahead and preheated my pan with one to two tablespoons of oil in there. And I'm going to go ahead and add my shallots. After our shallots go translucent, we're going to add in our cracked black pepper and our seasonings. Our shallots are starting to turn a little bit translucent, so we can go ahead and add in our cracked pepper. And our shallots are starting to brown, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off my heat. All right, our fire is off, and then slowly add in my Jack Daniels. And be careful if your pan is super, super hot, this could ignite anyways and make sure you never add alcohol in while you're still on the fire and never pour it in from the bottle. So we're just gonna turn this back on and bring it back down to low and we're gonna let this simmer and reduce by half. Our Jack Daniels has reduced down nicely. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our maple syrup. There are a lot of different ways that you can get around not having demi-glaze. I'm actually using a Campbell's Beefy Mushroom Soup. It would be better with a traditional demi-glaze, but if you have a hard time finding it, you can use this. Otherwise, you could use a very concentrated beef stock and thicken it up with a roux. Now that we have our demi-glaze or mock demi-glaze added in, we're going to go ahead and stir this around, bring it up to a boil, and then give it a taste test. Now for the moment of truth, I'm going to give it a taste test. actually is pretty decent. I'm quite surprised this made a pretty good substitute for demi-glaze. Obviously, if you have access to demi-glaze, go with the demi-glaze, but in a pinch, you can be very creative with what you use in place of demi-glaze. Now to finish this off, I'm going to add a little bit more peppercorn. Then we're going to add in a couple of more pinches of kosher salt stir this up and then do another taste test. And whenever I do cook with alcohol, I always like to throw just a splash of it in at the end just to really bring out that flavor. All right, for the zucchini, all you need to do is just start cutting this on a bias. To season our zucchini up, put in a tablespoon or two of olive oil, season this up with some salt. I'm also gonna use a little bit of garlic powder, not garlic salt, because I don't need to add any more sodium. That's why I have the kosher salt here. We're gonna do some fresh cracked peppercorns, and then I'm gonna use a couple of shakes of the Montreal chicken seasoning. You could also use a steak seasoning if you'd like. So we're gonna give that a nice toss around, and I'm gonna reapply some of the seasonings to it just because I want nice, even coverage. So basically, there is no recipe for this portion of it. You're just gonna do this by sight. As long as you have nice, even coat over everything, you're gonna have great flavor and a great outcome. Now that we have everything together, all we have to do is season up our steaks and throw them on the grill. So I'm gonna use Telcherry peppercorns like I normally do. And I'm gonna be very generous with these. <laughs> Now we have to salt them, flip them over, and then repeat the process. Now I know that looks like a lot of salt and pepper, but the majority of that's gonna fall off during cooking. Everything's all seasoned and ready to roll. We're just gonna spray this down with some oil and throw them on the grill. And throw on our zucchini. Momentarily, we're going to be flipping our steaks over. And I'm pretty happy with our steaks. It's time to pull them off. Now for plating, I'd like to start with my starch first. Go ahead and put that right into one of the corners. Push it down just a little bit. Then we're going to take some of our zucchini, which we grilled. I'm going to take about three or four of them. I'm going to stack them all up and then use a knife to cut them right down the center. And then we're going to take our zucchini and just start fanning those. Now we'll take our steak. We have our steak in place. Now we can go ahead and put some of our Jack Daniels sauce on it. We're just going to start from the top, let it drizzle down and we're gonna direct it so the majority of it falls off to this edge. And we'll put a little base of that 
right over here. And that wraps up this episode of More Proof. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment box. And as always, the recipe is down below in the description box. But until next time, I'm James. See you then.